Let's bring it up. Fire away. Uh, Alyssa, just talk about last night a little bit. What did you see on the uh, Grand Slam and how big was that for you? Um, well, I thought the at bat before from Soph really set me up like really good. I think she had like a 12 pitch at bat and just worked a good count. Um, so that kind of let me know what she was going to throw as far as to me. And then I think the, the pitch before that one that I hit, it was like a pitcher's pitch, but a really good spot. So I was just setting up for that again. I'm really excited. I've actually never played there in Stillwater, so I've heard really crazy things about it, but I'm excited to go in that atmosphere. Um, and just to play them is always super competitive. Two really good teams going up against each other, so I think it's going to be a good setup for postseason and down the road. Are you guys just kind of anticipating a like, LSU type of atmosphere? Like, I'm sure you'll have some mm -hmm. super fans there, but that's the only thing I can compare it to. I know you guys had a ton of super yeah. fans there last night. What kind of crowd are you expecting? I mean, I know our parents are always going to show out, but I think it's definitely going to probably mimic that in, as LSU. But I'm excited. I think we play better and almost like rise to the occasion when teams are against us and when we have that atmosphere around us. So I'm excited to see it. What's it been like to see Bedlam go from not just a big series mm -hmm. conference, but in the national landscape? Um, I think it's really cool. I think. Um, our two teams have really elevated the game as well, and then everyone loves to see rivalries. So um, I think they've done a great job with their program down there, and then I, it's just growing the sport. I think we've seen that so much with OU Texas, so I think it's the same thing with us too. You mentioned uh, the team kind of elevating their play when you're on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what personally excites you about playing on the road that makes it um, I just love going into other people's places and kind of having that chip on our shoulder and having to come in knowing that everyone's against us. And it's always tough to play away. Um, and I think it is an advantage for other teams to play at home. Um, so I personally just find it really fun when it's super intense and passionate. So for me, that's when I feel like I thrive the most. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing this defense make highlight plays almost mm -hmm. every game. Yeah, I think something's defense, we've really just stressed that so much, and I think it goes underappreciated a lot. Um, that's something Coach Gasso loves defense, and we do too, and I think that seeing how much we can really just push the envelope on the field and see each other do some crazy things, I think, again, we feed, each, we feed off each, of each other, and then... Um, like being next to Grace Lyons, like she's just unreal. And I think seeing her do the things she does, it challenges me to be better. And then obviously having our pitching staff do what they do. And then us being behind them as far as whenever they do get something hit off of them, that's really exciting. So, What's helped this team stay grounded or not get overconfident as you've gone through this year? Um, I think it's just important to – hone in on the little things for us and to focus on the fact that everyone's going to bring their best for us. Um, and we don't really like taking anything for granted. And I think um, going in, really not counting anyone out is a big thing for us too. Um, so I think that's a huge part of it. We saw what the emotion was like Saturday for Grace when, when she had that hit. Just mm -hmm. what, what has she meant to the program? She's awesome. Um, I think you guys have heard everything about her, and she's just such a great person, a great teammate. Um, she's really like a mom figure. She's someone anyone can literally go up to and ask for advice. Um, she's kind of the person that if she has something to say, everyone stops and listens. Um, and she's a huge part of like what this program stands on, and that's great character, um, just a great teammate and she's also just huge in her faith and I think you see that so much with her off the field and um, I feel like she does go unrecognized but like she is the backbone of our team and I think she just stands for so much. Just for you personally, how much do you feel like your role has changed from freshman year now into your sophomore year and just like, talk about that a little bit? Um, I think last year I had to really just accept role player and that was totally fine with me. I was just excited to get in the lineup and be a part of it. Um, but this year, I think just being more of a set example on the field is what I'm striving for. Um, 
And I think that's something that I'm trying to continue day on day to day and just like guide the little ones and constantly like be in their ear on um, how we can just be better as far as not even just physical things, but mental things too. Um, but I've really loved to be back on the infield and just be next to TRA and Grace Lyons and just be back on the dirt. I think it's a great way for me to come connect back with the pitchers too because um, I am someone that's really close to them and it's kind of a good voice for me to um, bring energy to them or maybe like bring them back down. Um, so I think playing defensively back on the dirt has really been fun for me in that role, but yeah. Um, I think continuing to be solid at third is another thing. Um, I think uh, our staff has done really well with pitching and just to have their back more. Um, and then offensively, I would say just to continue to stay locked in on my plan and go in with that and really stick to it, not get too high or too low. Um, but other than that, I think just continue to have the same mentality going in, confident, but just know what my game plan is. Thank you. Thank you.